Hey there, this is Galsa777. I'm getting ready to start some Red Wars 2 now. I'm going to get started before I lose my motivation. As I just started Skyrim last night and I'm pretty much hooked already. So yeah. But first of all, I've got a few things to explain first. Okay, you get five lives. I think in the NES original you started off with three. Okay, you get four characters. Mario, Luigi, Toad and Princess Peach. All each character has their strengths and weaknesses. They have to do the uh, jumping height and their strength stat. Strength determines how fast they can pick up items and how much um, their jumping and speed is affected when they're carrying something. Now, as we'll start from Mario, the Eminence hat clearly stands for mediocre. I'm sorry Mario, but you're pretty damn terrible in this game. He's pretty average all around, nothing special. He's not bad in any particular area, but he's not really that great either. There's always, regardless of the situation, there's always been one of the characters better suited to the task than him. Normally I would never touch Mario with a barge pole, because um, I just don't find him very useful in this. In fact, the only two characters who usually go are Luigi and Toad. But as I'm going to be rotating the characters at every level, and Mr. Evans will have the, their own fair share, I won't be taking any short uh, warp skipping anything. That means Mario will get his fair share. So, Mario, even though I don't like you, be man ray. Well, 1.1. Welcome to the subcon. Okay, that was a great start. <laughs> Fail. Can't, can't be able to kill the first freaking enemy. Okay, let's try this again. Hopefully, let's fail. Okay, the controls are as follows. A is jump. Why is the sprint button? You can't defeat an enemy by um, simply jumping on them. But if you press the Y button, you can pick, you can pick them up and chuck them about. And also pick up stuff on the, the ground. To defeat enemies, you have to chuck them at all enemies or get use the vegetables to, to kill them. Okay, if you press down for a few seconds, you do a charge and do a super jump. This, this is very useful for getting to very high places. Uh, the better jumpers of the bunch, namely uh, Luigi, can actually take shortcuts by doing the super jump. Now uh, you get two hit points at the start. You can increase this later. Right, I'll show you just how you can increase your hit points. Up here, pull up here, we have a potion. Throw this, creates a door, and taking this, go to this mirror image world. And that giant mushroom permanently increases your hit points for this level by one. There's two hit. There's two um, uh, mushrooms hidden in each level, so you can have a maximum of four hit points. How block instantly kills all enemies on screen. Uh, if you defeat enough enemies, you can get a heart, which replenishes one hit point. I think you need to kill seven enemies to do so. Now about Mario. As I said, his jumping ability is quite average. Although he gets a lot, he jumps pretty high. Um, only Luigi jumps higher, but uh, he doesn't get much air time in his jumps. Uh, the Peach and uh, Luigi can jump much further he can. can, he, can. But he does have uh, a lot of power, good strength. He's only weighed down slightly by items. Right, hey, what up? Uh, oh shit, a bomb! Uh, every five cherries you pick up g gives you a star man. Uh, that makes you miserable. Ah, Luigi could have made that jump. Yeah, this is this is the uh, first appearance of shy guys, and they'll be uh, used in quite quite um, a lot of other Mario games. Most mostly Yoshi's Island, where they're fucking everywhere. Oh, hey there, Ninja. Like 
climb up here. Right, jump! Right, over here there's a shortcut to the boss. Ow! You little dick. Yeah, that's not how you do it. Bye bye. Okay, this boss time. And here, here we have a birdo. I'm going to capture it. But as I'm out of don't have any pokeballs, I'm going to do it the Freecher 776 styles by beating the crap out of her, uh, him, uh, it to lose his consciousness. Yeah, birdo. I want to say thank you for Wadler for um. Destroying my image of Birdo forever. So I had to wiki Birdo after what you said, and what I found out was pretty surprising. I was I didn't think Nintendo would actually um, do something like that on our games. Anyway, that orb goes you to exit the level. Coins. The slot machine. This is a bit. The slot machine's a bit different than it was in the NES original, as I don't think the sevens were the lucky sevens were in the, the original. Damn it! This is how you gain extra lives. Oh come on! Can I at least get one extra life? Star. Oh. Come on. Fuck! Oh, never mind. Okay, Mr. L, it's your turn. 1.2. Okay, Luigi is a character. He's the best jumper of the bunch. He can jump quite. He can jump very high. His super jumps is really incredibly hacks. He's the original inventor of the flutter jump, which um, Yoshi steals from him. And where the hell did that Pidgey go? I need, I need, I need, I need your fine carpet. Go away. Fuck off, uh, Bezos. Now Luigi can take shortcuts that no one else can by his super jumps. This makes him the best at platforming. Let's see, potion here. You want to use the potions when there's uh, lots of um, vegetation around. That way, that way you get you get coins for um, extra lives and uh, chances. Okay, this dude here is a Fanto. Fanto. If you take, if you pick up a key, you get pissed. Which, holy shit, uh, Luigi, you, you get affected quite badly by carrying something. As long as you have the key in your possession, they'll chase you. If you let go, they'll, they'll, they'll stop until you pick the key up again. You're not going to chase me again. Ah, oh, yeah. I think Luigi can jump up there if I use a ninja. Out. Fucking, fucking asshole. Yep, shortcut. Hey, it's a Sniffet! Fuck! Their master, their leader is currently causing havoc and causing one right now. I'll just take the normal path this time. Luigi has average strength. So is... Is jumping a... He is hampered a fair amount while carrying uh, items. Can you please drop the bomb. Bye bye. Put the potion here. I need to, I need to create a hole here. Because I know where the mushroom is. Great. Do, 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 do. Uh, 
The only really problem with Luigi is that his jump it can be a bit hard to control. If you're not used to his uh, footy jumps. He's pretty bad with taking care of Birdo, for instance. Where the hell? One needs is a potion. Uh, I'm gonna kill the guy that killed me last time. Fuck you. Man, I'm just getting my ass kicked here. Give me the star. Thank you. Goodbye. Oh, give me the, the heart. Safe. Boss time. Pink Burrow. Yeah, these ones just um, spit eggs at you and take three hits. And Luigi's jumping abilities are quite detrimental as he has a lot of air time. Not, not good when facing Bardo. As you have to time your jumps a lot more carefully. But I'm just as I main Luigi. I'm just I'm just to it. Oh, that was close. Do 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 do. Not so much. Not so much. I've got one. Uh, let's see. I'll try and get a cherry this time. Uh, if you get, that means I'm guaranteed one extra life. As, as long as the cherry is the first one, you'll get an extra life. I think you get three sevens, you get a ten up. Start. Fuck. Well, at least got my, ex my life back. Okay, next up is Man Ray Toad. 1.3. Okay, Toad is the worst jumper of the bunch. He has very little air time. But he has a lot of advantages to a major advantage to compensate for this. He is extremely strong. He picks up everything really fast. And he's not weighed down at all by anything. Oh. Nice. Here. Ah, I chose wisely. Yes. Yeah, um, if, if you pick up five large um, vegetables in a row, you get a stopwatch, which halts time for enemies for a few seconds. I'm going to need... Uh, there's a, there's a warp point that you use this potion for, which I'm not going to take, I'll just show you where it is. Put the potion here, beside the... the jar. I think I just screwed that up. I was thinking I was supposed to put it on top of the jar. Yeah, if I put, if I put it on top of the jar, You've got a warp point. Ow. Which are taking you to world 4. Anyway, Toad isn't hindered by it. He loses no speed when carrying things, nor is his jumps hindered. So in areas that you need to do a lot of chucking stuff, Toad's the man. Right, you need these mushroom platforms to create a bridge across. I think Luigi could probably jump that, but Toad cannot. So I have to create a platform. Those platforms are great for killing enemies as well. If I don't find some health, I'm going to end up dying. Or get electrocuted. And the Phantom is probably going to kill me as soon as I pick the key up. Okay, leg it! Shoot, shoot. 
Run away. Get down. Down. Whoa. All right, minute. Fine. I what? Heart, please. Yes. Back oh, what the fuck? Those guys came immediately came back to life again. Damn it! Oh, Starman, and uh, in a really awkward place. Ow! Come on, ninja bastards! Don't, don't jump over me when I'm invincible. Uh, no boss fight until now. We have the uh, end the world one boss. This is Mouser. Ah, I'm, I'm dead. Mouser's recurring boss in this game. I uh, have to chuck chuck the bombs he has at you back at him. Damn it, told your hat's too big. Toad is great for taking out Mouser because he's picks he's really good at picking up his bombs back up. Basically any boss, Toad is a great choice because of his uh, great carrying ability. Got you there. Mouser's three hit. twice there, but I also got another hit there I didn't notice. Hey, got six chances for extra lives. Seven. Oh, yes. Ten up! Yes! Okay, that should be reset for the rest of the game now. I'll just, I'll... I don't care. Anymore. Let's see what I get. Mash, just mash the button randomly now. Well, tw 12 extra lives, I've got to be satisfied with that. 